Since 5 o'clock, we've learned Mountain Valley Pipeline's attempt to keep erosion out of Virginia waterways is not meeting government standards. And that's what led to the temporary halting instruction across the Commonwealth. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones joins us now in studio. So Arisha, you spoke with a family that says they hope this is permanent. Well, that's right, Lindsay. The Bernards in Franklin County say the pipeline project is hurting their art business, but most importantly, is polluting the water close to their home. After news of the temporary suspension due to erosion concerns, they want the DEQ to tell the Mountain Valley Pipeline to go away for good. This is what Ann Bernard sees when she looks outside into her yard every day. Construction of the Mountain Valley Pipeline has not only destroyed her view, but she says the mess is doing damage to a small creek near her home. We've been fighting it for three and a half years, and while we would love to be uh, enthused about the stoppage, uh, we've been sending uh, DEQ uh, evidence of the erosion here into our creek and the desecration of, of our land. She says the news of MVP putting a temporary stop on construction because of erosion problems is a little too late. She says the erosion is going into the main body of Teal Creek. We can see uh, there, this is a floodplain here and it won't perk. So all the water that they have accumulated here is not going anywhere. It's not dissipating into the ground in any way. For her, the destruction is done and believes it could be worse. They haven't, like I say, started really burrowing under these waterways. When they do that, the problem's going to be compounded a hundredfold. Bernard wishes this temporary fix is permanent, not just for her, but for all concerned about the water quality, the whole length of the pipeline. An environmental disaster in the making. Mountain Valley Pipeline officials say the team takes its environmental stewardship responsibilities very seriously and wants to redirect its work efforts to focus exclusively on erosion controls affected by recent weather events. DEQ sent out a statement late this afternoon saying there's no specific timeline for the suspension and that citizens' complaints did factor into this decision. In the studio, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.